This is a problem. This accent, it is going to get difficult. I sound a bit like the uh, the the Frenchman, the bad guy from Pascal Sivage, you know, Johnny English. I sound like <laughs> I jumped up Frenchman. <laughs> Oh, it's for me, actually. And could you rustle up some of those cheesy nibblers that are going around? Now, where were we? You obviously haven't met our host, Monsieur Sauvage. No, thank God. You know, I think I'd rather have my bottom impaled on a giant cactus than exchange pleasantries with that jumped-up Frenchman. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing the French should be allowed to host is an invasion. <laughs> How's it going my truant people? Duck Slacking the Slacking Doctor back with our Pokemon Black Truant Lock and if you're thinking hey he looks like he's in the exact same place in the exact same shirt with the exact same music playing and everything the same that's because we are. I literally pressed stop recording waited 10 seconds and then pressed start recording so hopefully there were no problems with the audio or anything in the last episode because if they were I didn't check and we're gonna have the same problems this episode so fingers crossed everything is running smoothly but I was like this music was too intense as soon as I finished the last episode I was like I gotta keep going I gotta keep going, I gotta keep playing. So, let's go after Team Plasma. I wanna see what happens. I want the story, man. I wanna know. Team Plasma intrigued. Oh, the music's back to be peaceful now. I could've just ended it here. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, oh, this thing's on the screen. No. Ah. Oh, I don't know what that was. Good day, Lenora. What's this guy's gonna voice? I think he's, he looks, he looks, he looks French. Can I do a French accent? <laughs> Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? That was terrible. This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Oh, he's an artist. He definitely is French. Doc, this is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's Castellia City's gym leader. Ah, oui, eh. Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? <laughs> if you are French, I'm so sorry. <gasps> what's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. I'm not going to be able to maintain his accent the whole way through this. All I, say, I never do, like, different accents, so I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, hi, Doc. What's everybody doing here? Oh, this guy's voice. Doc, is there some kind of problem? <laughs> <gasps> so many voices! And these two are your friends. Bianca and Sharon. Oh, I see. They're trainers. Okay, then. Let's split up and search. I'll head this way. I swear her voice has changed every time. Everyone. Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Berg and Doc, you two search the pinwheel forest and do the French accent more. Got it, Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Oh, oui, oui, uh -huh. You are Doc, is it? Ah, you're willing to round up our robbers. <laughs> ah, whose idea was this? I can't believe I've done this. I mean... I really cannot believe I done this! <laughs> oh, Biang, save me. Oh, oh, Doc, take this with you. Fennel gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Dowsing? That's like the hidden item thing, right? Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, Biang. Now, what did she tell me? Um, you can use the dowsing machine to find places that are hidden so you can sign any stuff you can't even see. Woo! For now, we all need to. All we need to do is protect the museum, right? It is Sharon, I'm sorry for butchering your dialogue and your voice, that was horrible. Hey, wait for me. Go on, Biang, sort him out. Sort this man out. Can't even speak properly. If you heard this man, he's, he's slurring. It's like he's drunk. He's not drunk, I swear. I swear he's not drunk. I definitely haven't been drinking. It is Valentine's Day. I have been celebrating. I haven't been drinking. This time. <laughs> for once, <laughs> finally. No, I always record sober. Anyway, we're going to have to try and maintain this French accent. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know, I need to remember, before like before we get, because Berg's the gym leader, right? He's the bug gym, I remember that. Before we get to Berg's gym, scream at me in the comment section, guys. The episodes before we get there, like, don't forget, Berg is French. Berg, ooh, ooh wait, we can go up the stairs and into doors? What, what is this? Oh my god, look at this verticality. Oh my god. It's amazing. Okay, you do you give me anything? Are you just trading? Okay. I don't know if there's any items here, but I want to crack on. I want to crack on and do the story. That's why we, we played again. I love the houses with the stairs at the outside and the upper level. 
I kind of want this person here gave me rock smash. And I had to tell you something which I didn't get to tell you in the last episode in a second after this. Ah, oh, we we this leads to Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, we might have trouble. This is a problem. This accent, it is going to get difficult. I sound a bit like the uh, the the Frenchman, the bad guy from Pascal Sivage, you know, Johnny English. I sound like <laughs> I jumped up Frenchman. <laughs> Uh, oh, what I want to show you guys before we do this, our music is intense, before we do this, um, I didn't find out whether you guys wanted me to get an account in, in, pin, for, in pin, pin, pin Wheel Forest, um, I might catch one and wait to see what you guys think, um, I know I said we weren't going to, but I might catch one and wait to see what you guys think. These people here, I had the biggest revelation, along with my epiphany about Chesto Berries, I honestly thought when we came to get our Tim Pole down here, that these two trainers were builders? I thought they were wearing yellow hard hats. So when I jumped into battle with them, and they were like preschoolers with little yellow bucket hats on, I was creasing off camera. I was laughing so much. And now, all I can see, I can't see them as preschoolers in their overworld sprites. I just see them as tiny little builder men. As tiny little builder men with their little hammers, like doing construction. Because I think it's because of like the train tracks on the floor and stuff. I thought they were like construct, like building like a railroad or something. So now they are like the most adorable sprites in the whole game for me. Like, I love them. They're my favorite Overworld sprites in Pokemon now. Oh, Poirot, we're not leading with you because Intimidate is long. Intimidate is long. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. But yeah, I thought that I thought that might amuse you. That I thought they were just tiny little construction workers. And I still kind of want them to be. Um, should I take the... I might just leave the Chester Berries on, to be honest. Sleep is annoying, so I don't see why I would take them off. I have an Awakening in the bag, so... Ah, uh, well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the, through the woods. I will take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma is hiding in there somewhere? I feel like sometimes it goes Russian. Team Plasma! <laughs> Team Plasma is hiding in there! You'll run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single pass. So I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake. I don't know what this accent is. It's either Russian or French. Boy, uh, can we get Sergei some grinding? On the doubles, on the doubles. I want to I wanna get Iggy up more because Sergei is kind of bad. But I heard, I heard you in the comment section, Dreadful Dragonite, telling me not to evolve Sergei. But he is so bad. Like, he is actual trash. Like, he's terrible. Complete garbage. Unless I get, like, a toxic protect set on him or something with, with like, stall and EVO light. Otherwise, he is bad. Okay, this is not ideal. Um, I guess I'll tackle and incinerate. Oh, incinerate spread. So that's nice. Oh, yeah. I, I found that. I went back to the training school bit where the daycare is. And I uh, did the double battle there with Sergei when we were grinding, so. That makes sense. Oh, it doesn't do enough, though. That does nothing! Iggy is a fat little man. You can't hurt my Iggy. Uh, this should put both of them in range of Incinerate. Boy, easy money. I like Sawaddle. I like Levani a lot, actually. I would be down to use a Levani. I would definitely be down. I know Berg has one in Black 2, White 2. I'm more familiar with Black 2, White 2. That's why I keep referencing that. I'm a little bit... I played that more recently. I actually lost my original Unova games. I think I lent them Swimmer Lucas when we were living together. Um, he didn't lose it. But I don't think I've seen it since I lent it to him. Like, he gave it back, I'm sure. I just put it somewhere and forgot where. You stubborn brat. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's see what you got then. Talking all this trash. Sand dial. This man thinks he's got me with a sand dial. Should I catch an encounter for Pinball Forest and let you guys vote on whether we keep it? Let's see if it's good or not. <laughs> if it's a bad encounter, then uh, I feel like we shouldn't keep it. But I'm scared that you guys might have been in the comment section like, you got to keep it inside Pinball Forest, and, and then I won't have done. Too bad, I haven't got anything. If you want it to get it back, you're just going to have to look for my associates. That's fine. We will... 
Okay, we can't run past you. It's obviously not going to be used. I was going to be the last person in the woods. I'm not stupid. I know how this goes. I know how this goes. It's going to be the final one's going to have it. Get one shotted Purloin. You're not living. You're not living. Ah, uh, level 16, maybe. Maybe living. Maybe living. Maybe living. We missed Razor Shadow an annoying amount of times in grinding as well. That was obnoxious. It should have missed as much as it was doing. And we had, oh my goodness. We had one, right? We we were against a Sork, I think. We Razor Shadowed on its bide, yeah. We got it down to like red HP. We Razor Shadowed second turn as it was storing energy. Missed. Next turn, I was spamming A, so I didn't realize. Stayed it. No, 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 I didn't. I went to run. I went to run. This thing unleashed its energy, and honestly, we lived on about 2 HP. I, I was so scared I was going to have to start the episode with Oshawott's death. I was like, oh man, am I going to have to start the episode with Iggy being dead? Is this our encounter? This is our encounter, right? Okay. You guys can decide if we keep this, just in case you've screamed at me in the comment section. If you haven't, if you've been like, no, it's cool, you don't get an encounter in Pinwheel, don't worry, I'll release it, like, it's fine. I, I, I personally don't think you should have one in and out, but... I'm open to, like, you guys know the region better than I do. So if you think, no, you really need one in and out, then I will listen to you, of course. Um, yeah, you don't have the bug ball. You can have the bug ball. I don't see it's catching many of the bug types. Uh, what should I nickname a Swaddle? Especially a maybe Swaddle. Well, I kind of want to name it something after Berg. Um, obviously, it can be any gender because we filled, filled a male and female squad at the minute. So we can have any genders now. Um, so what do, uh, oh, I know what we call it, kind of after Berg, kind of after Berg, not exactly after Berg, but seeing as though my accent sounds so much like Pascal Sauvage, we'll have, uh, just call me John Malkovich, we'll have Pascal, Pascal, I kind of like that, Pascal the Livani, but, uh, we will release it if you guys don't think I should have it, and, you know, that's cool. I'm open to advice though, because if you guys are like, oh, there's so few encounters in Unova, you really have to count them as separate encounters then. I'll take that on board. Uh, I want the hidden items, or the, the items, oh, but I don't want to do the... Okay. We're going to speed up, and we're going to walk, because that lowers our encounter rate. Oh, look at this, the strat! Big root. Okay, and we're going to do it again. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, so close. I thought we were going to do it then. I thought that was going to be it. I don't like to use speed up, but as soon as we're not running, it's not like crazy fast. Um, so I was like, okay, we can, we can work that. We can work that. I need to keep my eye on the time because it is Valentine's Day and my girlfriend is napping. But at some point, I should stop playing Pokemon and actually spend Valentine's Day with her. Otherwise, I may be in... Ooh, shaking grass. Let's see what it is. If it's an Ordino, then that's some... Wait, we can catch the others in here anyway. So why, like... I guess it's just for that first gym. Boy, if we can get the grass one in here, I will be a happy man. Pan Sage. If we can get Pan Sage in here, I'll, I'll sack Sergei intentionally. <laughs> I won't really. I wouldn't do that. Oh, man. See, Razor Show, why you do this to me? Can I just, can I just walk again this thing? Let's see if this one-shots after all this. After all this, does this just one-shot anyway? No. Of course this man has a berry. That's fine. It's nothing. Leering into a special move. Good strats, my boy. Good strats. Easy. Did we get the crit? We got the crit, I think. Okay. That wasn't even worth it for the experience. Uh, no, I don't want to battle that trainer. I can always battle them in grinding or something. Oh, look at this. The pro plays. I feel like with shorter episodes, I'm like, I don't want to battle trainers as much. I want to... I think it, this story's just got me hooked. Like, I want to know about Plasma. I want to learn. Ah, oh, come on. Two steps. What's the encounter rate? Oh, black and white are the ones that are known for their encounter rate, aren't they? They're known for having obnoxious. We could have had Cottony. I would have loved Cottony. Whimsicott is a boss. I love Whimsicott so much. One of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, for sure. For absolutely sure. Oh. Didn't expect that. Great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. That is the strength of rangers. Boy. Pokemon ranger. 
Her sprite's cool. I like that sprite. Audra. That's a cool name as well. Audra. I'm going to call my firstborn daughter Audra. I'm going to call our next female encounter Audra. Hold me to it. I definitely won't forget. I never forget anything. Next female Pokemon, Audra. Facts. Don't test me. I will forget. <laughs> I will absolutely forget. Unless we catch like an Audino, and then I'll be like, Audino, Audra. Oh yeah, Audra. Shit. I mean, who? <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to still cover my cursing like this is a PG channel, so it's definitely not anymore. Definitely not anymore. Sergey, you suck! Ah, oh, so bad. Ah, oh, this is just gonna heal more than we're doing. Ah, oh, this is gonna take so long. I'm, I'm not playing these games, Sergey. You, you are absolutely trash. Absolute trash, Sergey. When can I tactif tactfully, tactically? That's what I'm trying to say. When can I tactically sack Sergey off, and you guys won't be mad? <laughs> When can I accidentally just send him out like, Oh, I was burn mashing and Sergei died. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll have to add someone else to the team. Can you not, Pansage? Eat this. Get going. I guess it is level 18. I guess it was a higher level than Sergei. I'll let Sergei up a little bit. A little bit. Only a little, though. And Incinerate is a terrible move. When does it learn M? Seriously? Like, with these elemental monkeys, as if their designs were, like, controversial enough, you could... Ooh, just a berry. You could at least give them decent, um... Why are you talking to me still? You could at least give them decent movesets. Like, don't make them not viable either. That's just annoying. Because I feel like people already hated a lot of their designs. So, like, why... They were, like, a second starter Pokemon that nobody wanted. I'm probably... Probably causing so much tension right now. I don't, like, just on first, like, I feel like they have grown on people. Don't get me wrong. But as someone who had been playing Pokemon the whole way through, when I got to Gen 5 and the monkeys and stuff, I was like, these are awesome. And then I quickly went off them, apart from the grass one. Um, the grass one I liked, but I never Pansage. I, I, but I never got to play with Pansage because I never picked a fire type. I don't, I didn't like Tepig. I kind of wanted to try Tepig on this playthrough, I'm not going to lie. Um... But I never liked Tepig. I was down to use any of them on this playthrough, though. Um, so, because of that, I never got Pansage. So, it was always just the Fire or the War one. Pansir or Pampor. And I'm sorry, but both of them are ugly. They're ugly. And I was just like, uh. Uh. Where even are Team Plasma at this point? Have I got past them? Have I just gone past Team Plasma? Have we got repels? We might have to repel. Because I think we're running out of time again. Maybe. Oh, okay, no, Sergei can't do this. Oh, okay, it's not Sergei, it's Iggy, that's good. That's good, Iggy. Do the business. Do the business, lad. That should be a three shot, I think. That's a comfortable three shot. Yeah, it's a comfortable three shot. And that'll be level 23, which would be nice. That'll be nice. But let me know, guys, what did you... So, I know we're a long way past Valentine's Day now, but what, what, what day is it today? It's Tuesday. What have you guys done with, if you're at school, I think if you're in the UK, you'll have had a half term. I just had your February half term. What did you do there? Like, what have you been doing with your time as of late? Have people been on holiday? A lot of people go skiing this time of year. February half term? Yeah, February half term. It is February. I know what month it is. Like, a lot of people go skiing this time of year. A lot of people go on holidays. Like, what have you guys been up to? Have you been doing anything exciting? Or have you just, in America, do you have February half term? Or is that not a thing? Are you guys just at school until, like, Easter? But let me know what you guys have been up to. My weeks, as you know, have been crazy. But not as crazy as originally expected. Yesterday, Tuesday, I was supposed to be up in Lancaster. And I was supposed to be staying there. You may be wondering, hey, I thought you were staying there all week. How are you recording on Wednesday? Well, I decided not to go yesterday. I decided that we couldn't really afford the hotel. It would have been nice to stay up there for Valentine's Day and everything. But I couldn't really afford the hotel. And basically, I stayed up super late finishing some work I had to do that night. Had to be up really early the next morning if I was going to make it to uni. Woke up, had a horrific headache, and was just like, nah, I'm sacking this off. I'm not doing it. So you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. You can try. Um, and you know, I was just like, nah, I'm not doing it. I I'm just going to chill for the day, get a load of work done. So yesterday, I was just doing loads of stuff, getting loads of reading done, all that, all that good stuff. And then today, my girlfriend and I, uh, we took her, took her for a massage this morning. So that was pretty nice that she was able to do that because we weren't going away. Uh, so took her for a massage, then not from me, obviously from a professional, then uh, went for lunch, that was pretty good, but not as good as usual, we went to a place that we really like, but today, like, they gave her chips that were, like, not cooked all the way through, 
We complained, right? I, I didn't like this. We but like I never complain. But it was Valentine's Day, and she was upset that she'd ordered a side of chips for like three quid or whatever, and they came like raw in the middle. But Thursday was raw in the middle. So for the first time, it's not in my nature, but I was like, he was like, was everything alright with your meals? And I was like, not really. The chips were raw. He was like, oh, let me go check with the chef. And I was like, like check what? Like why are you gonna check? Like chef, did you cook these properly? The chef's obviously gonna be like, yes, yes, I cooked them properly. He's not gonna be like, no, fire me. So he like went to check with the chef, came back, and he was like, oh. The chips are cooked properly, they're just chunky chips, so they're supposed to be soft in the middle. If you want crispy chips all the way through, next time you should order fries. And I was like, what? For you guys, chips in America, we're talking about like, potato fries. I guess you just call them fries. We call them chips here. But he was like, order fries, because fries are, we have like thick fries, like really thick, like really fluffy potato inside. And we were like, we know what the difference is between like French fries, American style fries, and chips. Like we know the difference. We know what thick cut chips should be like. And this is not that. They are raw. The potato is raw. That is not fluffy. That is raw. And he just, I don't know. I, I he, They still knocked off the bill. They were still like, we're not going to charge you because you didn't eat them. But next time you come, you should probably order French fries. And I was just like, I get this is like a fairly nice place. You do nice food. You take pride in what you do. But seriously, don't come out to the customer and tell them that they just ordered the wrong thing and they don't know their food because, like, it's not even like we ordered, like, snails and complained about the way they were cooked. And he was like, do you even eat snail, bro? We ordered chips, for fuck's sake. It was like, it's chips. I know how chips are supposed to be cooked. Like, this is not fancy. Like, it's not like, I don't know. It irritated me. Like, if I was there, like, oh, yeah, I want the lobster and you didn't take the claws off. I don't know what you do with lobster because I'm not that fancy. That I would understand. But it was chips. Chips. I'm, I'm still vexed. In case you can't tell. Still mad. Still a little bit mad. But yeah, so we did that. We got some lunch. And then we went to Space Center. Um, which is just like, it turns out literally walking distance from my house. We've lived here for getting on for a year now. About nine, about eight months maybe. And the Space Center has been exactly 12 minute walk from our house according to Google Maps. And we didn't even realize. We did not realize at all. It's the National Space Center, like the biggest one in the country. There we go. We got the school. And uh, yeah, we went there today. Cost like 20 pounds. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. Why? Because we got the skull? Really? Gorm. This man's called Gorm. That's hilarious. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, I'm mortified that this girl, which we went to so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon Skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma are looking. It's a Dragonite. It's completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. So they're looking for a Zekrom Skull. Oh man, this guy. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> oh, sweet. The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so I came here. So here I come, sorry, I misspoke there. This is a problem. When you're French, you have to do this. I forgot. I mean, this is kind of Italian too, but I feel all Europeans, they do this on the continent. All worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? <laughs> no more! Doc, Berg, Pascal, the others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? Nah, that's not the big boss. I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg, and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you're looking forward to that time as much as I am. That sounded way deeper than it was, I think. Know yourself and know your enemies, like... Sure, okay. Sounds cool, sounds groovy, I don't know. 
There's a, there is Speedy Bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Make make Doc read more dialogue. Are you going to chase them? Hmm, this is difficult. We got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. This is the safe option. Well, now, well, I'll be waiting for your challenge as the Castelia City Gym Pokemon Gym. Castelia City Gym Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Oh, I am a crazy Frenchman. Doc, you're holding the dragon skull. You worked so hard to get back right. Doc, here's it. It's the Monty Python accent. That's what it sounds more like, the Monty Python. When they're in the Holy Grail with the guys and the... Yeah, you silly English! <laughs> Doc gave the dragon skull to Lenora. Doc, thank you so much. If you haven't watched Monty Python and the Holy Grail, go watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here is a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Doc obtained a moonstone. Especially if you're Swedish. If you're Stromf and you're watching this, go watch it. Because it has some Swedish stuff in it. The Holy Grail that is, not the moonstone. This is a moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. That's pretty cool actually. See, you take care of yourself. So the moonstone doesn't help us now, I don't think. I think our evolutions are... Firestone, level, 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 friendship. So yeah, we don't need that yet. I don't know what evolves by Moonstone in this generation. Let me know in the comment section if you know what we might need a Moonstone for in Unova. Definitely let me know because that is cool. Anyway, we are going to end it here, guys. Next episode. Oh, why am I? Uh, hmm. Next episode, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what will happen. I might have grinded. We might not. We might just keep progressing. Either way, thank you so much for looking around me. I hope you enjoyed the French accent. It was completely ridiculous. I'm sure we'll be back in a future episode. And I'll catch you guys again next time.